You want you not probe really in the operation? I'm sorry, Pablo. <laughs> hey. Ah. Uh, George. Yeah. I not even noticed. My god, Toa, that is adorable. Hello, everybody, my name is Steve Gogo. Welcome back to Trails into Every and our Daydream Marathon. With the next one, the path chosen, with again the adorable Toa in her little outfit. So let's go. Yes, I would like to go. Thank you very much. So you know, all these daydreams have been brilliant, so I'm looking forward to every single one of them. Oh! Oh, memories of the original. <laughs> it's so cool. That is the, like the Cold Steel 1 time thing, right? That's not me being... So I was just wondering when this would take place. Sorry. My story takes place a week after Crossbell's liberation. Writer's instructor Randy returned to the branch campus several days after Yuna. Oh, it's just Toa's. Oh, it's just Toa's daydream. Oh, I hope. Anyway. Oh, look who it is. Oh god, this is back when things were happy in the world. Welcome back, Instructor Randy. It's good to have you here again. Beep, 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 beep. Wow, she saw him from miles away. Hey, Reen, Toei. Even got Michael come out to say hello. Didn't have to roll out the red carpet for me. This isn't a big deal. No way, we won't miss this for anything. Randy deserves all of the entrances. Sounds like you have plenty to straighten out over there once things settle down. You don't know the half of it. Wait, shouldn't you three be teaching right now? If you're all here, we'll have the students. We moved our homeroom periods up, so it's fine. It's what they all wanted anyway. What who wanted? Shrug to Randy! <laughs> so good to see you, welcome back. You all knew that a probe really in the operation? I'm sorry, Pablo. <laughs> That's our instructor for you, always ready to put in the work to get a job done right. Whoa. Thanks kids, I missed you. None of you got rusty while I was away now, did you? Do, 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 do. You have nothing to worry about there, instructor. I'm more wondering if you got rusty without us there to keep you on your toes. Very funny, I swear you lived to give me a hard time, Ash. They're gonna get, make it even harder for me to leave in a month's time than it already is. I think it's too late for that. Hooray! It looks like our surprise reception was a success. I'll say, you're a special guy as well as Randy. Thanks, all of you. Bree is good to be here again, even if just briefly. Aww. Like Instructor Orlando, I will also be taking my leave once the school year comes to a close. I suggest you make your decision regarding a certain something sooner rather than later, Instructor Herschel. Ooh, will you? I'm assuming Toa would be the principal? That would make sense. She's Perfect for that job, let's be honest. I'm assuming this is a Toa daydream, I think. The path chosen. Sorry! Again, I know, no zitches, I'm sorry. Oh god, I love that. It is Ace Colsu One's ma uh, time thing, right? I and mean, that's not me being crazy. I think it's to say Hi D H HD version. To uh, to uh, Toa. T oh, Reen. Reen's on the other side. This is quite weird. Re Reen, um, what's up? School's already over. Something wrong? You've been spacing out a lot recently. No, no, I'm totally fine. Just a little sleep deprived. That's not what I would call fine. Why haven't you gone home yet? Um, have you forgotten? Everyone's coming today, so you're going to tag along with them, with me to welcome them. Green, please work. Ah, oh, that's right. Green, what time is it? We have to hurry to the station. No worries, we still have time. Let's pack up and head out. Ah, uh, hey! Ah, uh, I love them so much. I'd love if we get basically all of the old fools to just teach here. That'd be great. We arrived at last. I haven't been here since just before the war. 
It really does remind me of Trista. I hope we can go to Trista in the Dre Dream. I want to see Trista full HD, but I don't think it will happen, Dan. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have come in uniform, though. No, you should stay in that uniform. Right, things have been hectic today, but even so, wearing my uniform when I'm off duty, maybe a tad gorge. That was fine, you both look cool as heck in my opinion. Hey everyone! Glad you could make it. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedules to see us. It means a lot. I don't think nothing of it. It's just a shame that some of us weren't able to make it. I was rather preoccupied the last time I visited Leave, so I'm look forward, looking forward to having a proper tour this time. Sorry. <laughs> We'll be happy to show you the sights, so we only need a few more till our group is complete. Aha, and there they are. Hey! Ah, George. Yo, didn't think you guys would beat us. Sorry to keep you waiting, kittens. Oh, Angelica, you've not changed, have you? Yes, beware of her around the lowlies. She's a, a bit handsy. Ugh. Ugh, George. Not at all. We only just got here ourselves. Well, hello, Sarah's voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> the gang's finally back together. I honestly wasn't sure whether I should come, but you were kind enough to invite me, so how could I say no? You could always try saying no. That'd be, that'd be great. Well, shall we get this celebration underway? Let the pre-party of the Thor's 220th class reunion begin. Okay, we are missing quite a lot of people if that's what this is. <laughs> Obviously, all of class seven is like 50 other students that haven't been here. Tonight was our class reunion, an event Angie spared no trouble planning. The main event was scheduled for a fancy hotel in Heimdall, but some coming early one some in, some coming early wanted to visit the branch campus as well. After securing the principal's permission, we agreed that they could drop by after classes that had ended for the day. Do, do. Whoa, is this really your first time playing tennis? Right, I've never seen anyone pick it up so quickly. Ah, there's the, um, what should we call it? Lacrosse girls. Well, we used to play lacrosse back on the main campus, so a racket's not too hard to wrap my head around. Doesn't hurt that tennis ball is just about the same size. Anyway, come on, let's get serious. So all you students can muster up these days. I figured you could do better than this. Oh, now you've done it. We'll make you eat those words. Go, Luna. Go, Jessica. You've got this. Ah, uh, Adel. The one with the humongous personality, which was hilarious in the old engine. I would totally devour that. Wow, this looks delicious. <clears throat> yes, and it's so colourful as well. That's thanks to the fresh fruit this Sandy grew. And Freddy's wild grass makes for a wonderful accent, I find. Well, not bad at all. What exactly did he contribute to this, though? <laughs> Pshaw, don't worry, it's just a bunch of herbs I picked in the mountains. It's so nice that the school kids are back, they've been completely absent this game. I should have expected nothing less from a former member of the gardening club. You garnish with the best of them. I could learn a lot from you. You're so going to become the principal, aren't you? I can see it. If not, you really should. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> it's Dorothy, isn't it? <laughs> That's right, love is everything, absolutely everything. Just as Tony and Alexei demonstrate in the story, love transcends any barrier. Age, birthplace, status, even gender couldn't keep them apart. In fact, those ob obstacles only made their love stronger. Oh god. <laughs> I know what you mean. Their love is just so pure and precious. What about you two? What do you think? My God, though, uh, I've never... Do people like this exist? I'm, I'm not going to judge anyone what your hobbies are, but are there actually people out there who read literature like this? I'm assuming yes. That's where the stereotype comes from. That we just want to be left the hell alone. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone elsewhere. And just walk away, Toa. Walk away. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Whoa. Her form was so beautiful and flawless. You were superb, Angelica. I'm extremely impressed. And she's always been a good at that sort of thing. Stuff like that makes her good make good impression on the kind of people who care about the quorum. 
Yeah, she's a noble. Like, she's actually one of the uh, four ho great houses, despite what you might think. What can I say? It's a secret to my success in life. But enough about me. Muse Maya, you fill out those kimonos wonderfully. What a double dose of heavenly beauty. Told you, keep him away from her. We should call a few more kittens over and have ourselves a very intimate little kimono pup. They're in school, Andrew. Call your jets. Yes, they are under age. Okay. I don't know. I think it's a rather intriguing proposition. Intriguing or not, we don't even have enough kimonos to go around for it. Hmm, you good, Vincent? You've been sitting completely still for a while. <laughs> that would so be me. Someone please help me. My legs, they've fallen asleep. <laughs> you ever sat in that position? It's actually painful. That's also because I'm incredibly unfit, but it still is. Hell yes. The boys are back. Yeah, <laughs> what's the matter, Reem? You're getting slow on me. Ugh, you're not bad for a guy who hasn't done this in ages yourself. I always got Reem was the bass player and Crow was lead, I believe. Oh, you guys are too cool. <laughs> I've known for years that Crow is a deft hand, but wow. They are the ones who put on that legendary school festival performance. We can't let them steal the spotlight. I wonder what, I kind of want, I've always wanted Reem to go ogre form and play the guitar. I don't know why, I just thought that would be awesome. And I've had that <laughs> in my head ever since Cold Steel 1. Just Demon Reem just shredding it, it would have been sick. But, well, well. The boys are back in town. Oh, I wonder if we get, actually, are we gonna get, we're we gonna redo the music, cool. Cause we never actually saw their, their music video, did we? Well, we saw the music video, but we never actually saw it perform. And so the fun times blew by and we headed for the hotel in the capital that would serve as the venue for our class reunion. That was such a blast. It was. There are so many incredible students here. We'll have to bring the rest of our old class to visit someday. Sounds like fun. You'll be going straight back to dry after the party's over, right, Crow? And since you remember Stark applying for some time to follow suit. Yeah, sounds like things have been nuts over there lately. So we're going to go see what's up. How did I not even notice? My god, Toa, that is adorable. I'm sure you know all about the debates in Northambia about breaking off from the Empire. Been a long day. Oh dear. All, it's been ha all that's been having an influence on Jirai too. Let's rise. There is a storm actually here and it's got very dark. So I'm gonna check the lighting in a sec. One sec. No, we're fine. Just check, because sometimes this happens and I go really dark and it's an arse to have to edit that. You know. I'm sure all the word about Crossbell getting its independence back is only adding fuel to the fire. But Jirai is only proposed as an SES, Special Economic Zone, so I can't see him throwing that away just for autonomy. In their case, yeah, Northambria might be a different story though. I take it that when everything's calmed down, you're planning to, well, heh, don't get on mopey on me, we're not snot those kids anymore, says the perpetual troublemaker. Well, take care, let me know when you get to Jirai safely. Shoffing, mum, yeesh. <laughs> Reen is the mum, let's be honest. You'll be coming back by train afterward, right, Toa? I hope you have a good time. Jesus. I'm assuming we're going to unlock that outfit. Thanks, I'll be back later on tonight. By the way, that dress is looking real fine on you, Toa. Tomorrow's a free day, so what's the harm in coming back tomorrow? If we're going to party it up at the hotel, we could always party, also party it down. If you get my drift. She means board games, nothing else, okay? Nothing rude. Angie! Don't even try to keep it vague anymore. <laughs> Make sure you keep your cougar on a tight leash, you hate you. Someday this will stop being up to me someday. <laughs> anyway, anyway, time to head off. See you, Reem. Take care. Give my regards to the others. We will. Bye for now. Why does Toa do anyone dressed up? You feel like the rest of them will put some effort in. You know what I mean? Can't just have her being the only one attempting look nice but what do I know oh the OG gang I've, all, I've always wanted a prequel as well ah, to damn. Cold one. <laughs> gotta level with you guys today was more of a blast than I ever expected yeah I always wanted, wanted a prequel Cold Steel 1 with these four and Crow's like beginnings would have been a very cool idea for a game but oh well 
That was your first time on campus in a while, so I'm not surprised you got into it. I'm glad I came too. I'm not. Well, you're welcome back anytime. Students were happy to see you. Oh, this song. I love this song. Where's... It plays at a really, really depressing moment there in Colossal Floor. So, once things have settled down in Jirai, you're planning to go travel all on your own. Right, Crow? That's the plan. I think I'm a smidge too old for journeys of self-discovery, to be honest. But I wouldn't even be here now if not for Ordine and the rest. It makes me want to find meaning in my life, you know? Again, you're like 24, you're not that old. Yeah. Huh. Well, make the most of it. My investigation into the Black Workshop is mostly done, so I'm asking if the professor will let me stay at the Ruhr Institute. Nothing's gonna erase the bad I've put into the world. But that doesn't mean I can't try to put in some good. I think that's a good idea. Perfect, even. We're all living through a time of great change for the Empire. For the whole continent, really. The class system we've all accepted as an immutable part of Erebonian life is on its way out the door. Yeah, I always forget about that. Like, after Coastal 2, the whole um, class thing kind of disappeared. That's why I need to talk to Father about what our family can do for the people of Nortia going forward. What about you, Toa? Have you decided whether you're going to leave the branch campus or not? Oh, I thought you were going to become pr pr principal. You knew? <laughs> you forget. We four go way back. We figured it out ages ago. That's about the only thing that could be eating at you like this right about now. <laughs> we're here if you need friends to talk it through with Toa. Aww. That's what we're here for. To lean on when the going gets tough. Guys. She's so small. <laughs> Sorry. All right. You win. You remember how I went around and helped multiple NGOs after graduating? I don't know what that sounds One like. One of those groups helps rebuild areas hit by disaster or war. And they resolve diplomatic disputes as a neutral party. Well, that organization's director got in touch with me recently. They said their goal was to help address the scars the war has left on the world. And they want me to help. I could see you doing that, be fair. Huh. I didn't think you'd been asked to help do something that big. <laughs> Fits you like a glove, though. It does. Between the Civil War, this last war, and the Trade Conference, you've shown you're great at desk work, negotiating, and so much more. I'm piloting the Courageous, by the way. I can see you really being able to make a difference in a place like that. Which must be what they see in you, too. I mean, Cap's being not piloting. I feel like they're overestimating me a little, to be honest. While the war might technically be over, we're still very much feeling its effects. It's been six months since we all came together to end the Great Twilight, but a great shadow still looms over us. Yeah, I mean, we were just talking about the hell being raised in dry in North Ambria. Crossbell's never not feeling it. <laughs> Seriously, the joke, again, that Crossbell will never be free. And those who played a part in bringing it about still have atoning to do. Myself included. And then there are the people scarred by the war. Aww. Aww. You know what I think, Toa? Reen really was... Seriously, Console 4, Reen was... He, he was suicidally depressed. That's how depressed Reen was. He literally wanted to find any reason to, to basically get himself killed. Um... It was dark. Culture 4 was dark. I think you have your answer already. It's a yes, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe I do. I can't deny it's a really important task. I'd likely be able to help the Empire and all of Zumeria far more in this role than if I were just to stay an instructor. Objectively speaking, I'm also sure I could handle the workload involved. Even so, I... <laughs> this takes me back to Thor's. Remember when we were in on those Arcus tests? Oh, where's this song from? Sorry, I do this every single song, but I recognize it. This wasn't a good, the goodbye song, was it? In Cold Steel 1? You were totally bewildered as to why you'd been chosen at first. 
Kenji. Oh. <laughs> it really was. We were all good friends by that point. But I remember being so confused on why Instructor Sarah picked me. You and Crow were two of the most capable students in our year. George was one of Professor Schmidt's disciples and a highly gifted engineer in his own right. And then there was me. An ordinary girl who just knew my way around organizing files a little better than most. <laughs> a little better, Jesus. I don't know. If anyone else said they became student council president in the first year, I wouldn't believe them. That's something you handled like it was nothing, I might add. Even with the Arcus test thrown into the mix. Sorry, no, this is a song where Valimar says goodbye, isn't it? I remember... Yeah, this is what I was... I was crying at that moment. That's why I remember this song. I think that was when that happened. I think. John, have flashbacks. I think it's that moment. I think. Well, on our field studies, you prepared the rest of the council for every kind of eventuality without fail. And then you still had the energy to support us by drafting up game plans and guiding us wherever we went. We would have been up shit creek without those. Sarah was some kind of slave driver on us innocent babes. <laughs> you made it so we did more than squeak by on those tests. Even made him a fond memory. You're the glue that holds us together, Toa. Aww. You're all gonna make me blush. I was only able to do all of that because I had you. Aww. You noticed how anxious I was and gave me a gentle push in the right direction. God, I really want to play Cold Steel 1 again, I really do. Having you all at my back gave me the strength to face forward. That's why I was able to handle everything. So much happened during our years at the Academy, both good and bad. But no matter how grim things looked, we always got through them by supporting each other. And before I knew it, I'd really come to love Thor's. Oh, God. Oh, you're and making me emotional, game. I never could have dreamed when I met everyone that we'd make it through two wars together. But here we are. Kind of awkward that Crow was responsible for that, too. <laughs> I doubt anyone could have seen all that's happened coming. It's been wild beyond belief, yeah. Remember when I died? <laughs> <laughs> Fun times. God, that broke me. I did not... I thought he was genuinely gone at that point. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But my god, I was broke. I know we use humor to cope, but Hadios above, that is grim. <laughs> I was also drunk when I played that. That did not help. Oh, you know, you technically never graduated, did you, Crow? Hmm. Maybe you could enroll at the branch campus when your journey's all over. You finish up your studies. And torment Reen. Seconding that idea, don't you want to study under Instructor <laughs> Reen? Yes, make it happen. Yeah, because I really want to hit those books. <laughs> <laughs> There's a part of me that wishes I could turn back time and go through school all over again. I only enrolled at Thor's because I didn't want to run away from the importance of power in the military. But I got more than I ever bargained for during my time there. And I'm still learning so much by teaching at the branch campus. It was the connections we gained from being part of the Thor's family that let us overcome the Great Twilight. And I think those connections are just as important as the work I'd be doing as part of the NGO. Carrying the torch of camaraderie and cooperation forward however we can is our duty as the foundation of the world. Fair enough. Also an epic song, I believe. I think it's called the foundation of the world. It's like the final dungeon theme from Cold Sea One is amazing. Sounds to me like your course is set then. Just follow your heart, Toa. It won't lead you astray. If life takes you to a fork in the road, and neither road feels right to tread, you forge a third path, all your own. That's how Reen's, and how our group, have always done it. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Angie. Thanks for helping me think this through, you guys. Ah, oh, this is so sad. This is the end of all of this arc, isn't it? I mean, I'm assuming we're going to get some, uh, you know... What do you call it when people turn up in another game? You know what I mean. I, I assume so, like, I assume Reen's going to be in Calvadark at some point. But a lot of these characters I don't think are going to come back. Uh, which is very sad. Eh, I just sat here looking pretty. I mean, Crow's probably going to be there, I imagine. Give it your best, Toa. 
We'll always be rooting for you. No matter how far apart we are or how much our paths diverge, that will never change. Never ever. Aw, oh, this is cute. This was a very, very cute daydream. Okay, I thought it ended it. So we then made our way to the class reunion in the capital. It was wonderful seeing so many old friends. I hadn't had time to meet since graduating. And between good food and drinks, time flew. Oh, it was Toa's graduation. Uh, their, their year group. Okay. But soon the time came to depart. And after saying my goodbyes, I only just made the last train. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a hiccup. I only just made the last train of the night back to Leaves. Aww. Oh, she's drunk. <laughs> so again, the blushing eyes. Again, that was me in Cold Steel 2. I was drunk at the end of Cold Steel 2 and 3, I think. Again, I... I don't, that, made, that sounds awful, but it really added to the feels, because uh, I was very into it, shall we say. I'm probably not going to be drunk for this game, unless people want to see me drunk. Uh, play a game? Uh, if you want to, I did do a Nero Autonomous episode when I was drunk, and it was horrific. Because <laughs> I generally couldn't see straight. Anyway. Ah, that was so much fun. Everyone looked like they were doing so well. Klein, Bradle. Hope we can squeeze in enough time to hang out again soon. Aww. The next stop is Leaves. Leaves. When disembarking, please do not leave your belongings behind. Mind the gap. Come on, Reen. Do the gentlemanly thing and be there. Go on, Reen. Ah, that was a close one. I almost missed my stop. Welcome back. Is it? Good lad, I taught him well. The man knows. Reen is such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, what brings you here, Reen? Did you come to meet me? I was out for a nighttime stroll anyway, so I thought I would. You have a fun time at the reunion? The funnest! Oh, it won't be the right route Reen and Toa's heart to heart. I admit I didn't expect to get back and run into you first thing like this. <laughs> I just couldn't, couldn't get to sleep. I've got a lot on my mind, I guess. There's next term's lessons and new students to plan for. Not to mention the fact that we're going to lose Randy and Major Irving and Toa and possibly even you too. So Reen is staying on. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> you saw right through me too, huh? Listen, Reen. Go on, Reen, do the speech. I'm not going to weigh in on your decision. If I did, I'd just end up trying to make you stay. Besides, even if you do end up leaving, that's not going to sever the bond between us. That's how Falls is. Just follow the path that you believe in, and know that I'll be supporting you the whole way. He's such a bro. Oh? Aww. Thanks, Reen. That means a lot coming from you. I would have been so sad if Reen wasn't there. He did it. I could tell that Reen felt the same way I did. That's how we were able to come this far. Even when we were apart, we were always supporting one another. And with that in mind, the path I ought to choose became clear. I assume you did you did go then. Later. Ooh, still go. Is that your answer, Miss Herschel? Yes. Oh, she did stay. Okay. I really thought she was gonna go. Yes, I'm gonna stay at the branch campus, but I want to take on as many jobs as possible from the NGO. She's gonna do both, of course, this <laughs> You personally love that, but are you sure? The path you're choosing to go down is undeniably more difficult than any of your other options. <laughs> I know. But I think my connection to Fours will prove useful in my NGO activities. I want to link the two of them together, not just for the Empire, but for the future of the entire continent. I see. In that case, I'll say no more. Let's get down to business. I want to talk to you about the arrangements for negotiations in the lead up to the signing ceremony. Of course! <laughs> Yeah, she's going out of her way to pick the hardest path of them all. Falls has quite the future ahead of it, and that includes you. This is just the end result of all of our choices. Hell, you and I are both a part of Falls now. You don't get that much room to talk, pal. Well, you're not wrong. She'll be taking my place as head in... My gosh, she's doing... She's doing two full-time jobs at the same time. Jesus. Schwarza, you better give her the backup she needs. Of course he will. Of course. For both you and Randy. The new military finance instructor is coming to buy to say hello today, right? Yeah, she, she'll be taking Instructor Herschel's place. She can be quite rash, but I do believe she's the right woman for the job. 
Oh, is it her, his sister then? And if I remember correctly, she's your... Oh, that was... Oh, that was a job of her. Okay. At the end of her... His daydream... Well, Claire's... Yeah, it is her. Okay. Makes sense. She's an extremely competent businesswoman. So this is it. Ford's Branch Campus. The place connected to her alma mater. There we go. I always drop my... Like, if I drop my control, it will hit the auto button and skip everything, so I'm always scared. <laughs> well, not much else to do, but dive right in. I'll give this everything I've got. Aww. I get it. It's so sad that this is the end of this. all of these characters' arcs. Like I said, I'm assuming Crow and Reen will come back. I'm assuming Lloyd... I'm assuming the main protagonist will come back in the Calvert arc at some point, I assume. Uh, it's just cam cameos, that was a phrase, but... But characters like Toa, I don't think will be coming back after this, which is very sad. Ooh. Eh. I'm hoping for something a little bit. I thought that said or orgasm. <laughs> Chiongasm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a child. Oh, that was cute. I won't be using the reward, but... Ooh, look at the... Wow, look at the character notes go. Ooh, new mission. Okay. Before I leave you, let's have a little look at what we got. Because we're, uh, we just give quite a lot Central core of points, right? Blue Ascension, eh, not helpful. Um, Confirming rank points accumulated. Wow, Liberation I did a lot. Liberation rank unchanged. Oh, okay, we're eight away. So it looks like next two in two episodes time, we will be able to see what Jal de Valf is. Uh, I'm assuming Solomon Garb is like that extremely overpowered accessory that every game has at the end. Okay. So, yes, I did do Hootsby Millionaire. Again, sorry, I would have done an episode on it. But literally, they, they give you like 30 seconds and I had no time to actually read the questions out, which is a shame, but do I have any of this? Not enough. No. Okay, well, that's the end of that episode. If you liked what you saw, obviously, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, it all helps me know what's good and what people, people are liking it. And also helps, you know... Make sure that I should do the next game after this. Um, Slab of reminiscence. And yeah, after video. all that, that was adorable. And I'll see you guys in justice as you. That's my French accent there. In the next one. Charles.